All right, so welcome back everybody. I believe this is lesson number nine. In this lesson, we are going to add more posts uh, to our protected uh, area for our members, which is not yet protected, but we are going to protect it also in this lesson. And we are also going to, uh, we're also going to create a dashboard page that's going to aggregate all of our posts. Uh, but before we do that, uh, there was an issue with the uh, with icons on the uh, post page, so I resolved it. So the way you do it is you go to Elementor uh, settings, uh, advanced, and here it says Lord Font Awesome for support. Font Awesome is like a library that has these icons, and you have to change it to yes and save changes, and it's going to be working now. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to plugins and I want to install a plugin that's going to help us duplicate the post that we already had because I don't want to recreate it from, from scratch again. So I'm going to go to plugins, add new. And the plugin that we're going to use is called post duplicator. Uh, now, once we are talking on plug uh, about plugins, I want to suggest that you keep your plugins to as minimum as possible because it's it's easy to get too many plugins in place but it's going to it's going to just bloat your website more plugins more potential security uh, issues more things to man maintain slower lo loading speeds so i would try to keep the plugin count to a minimum maybe 10 at most well in some occasions obviously if you're build building a complex website it might take you more but just try to keep it to a minimum that's a good rule of thumb so I'm going to activate this plugin and what I am going to do is go to posts I'm going to click on duplicate posts uh, duplicate post sorry just going to go and edit it and we're going to call this Twitter marketing essentials and we're going to change it here to say Twitter and just go to advanced, uh, sorry, document, featured image, replace image. Let's just go use this Twitter image, update. Let me just quickly see if it's working. Yeah, it looks, looks good. So now what I'm going to do is go back to old posts, uh, click on duplicate post, edit, and we're going to do this for six posts, so four, four more to go. Uh, it's going to say, Snapchat, Marketing Essentials. I'm going to go to Document, Featured Image, Replace Image, Snapchat, Update, boom. Go to All Post again, Duplicate Post, and so on and so forth. So just bear with, bear with me, guys, for a second. It's going to be, this one is going to be LinkedIn, Marketing Essentials, Copy, Ah, without copy, LinkedIn, uh, document, replace featured image, and pick the one with LinkedIn, update. As you can see, since we are duplicating the posts, they are already assigned to the protected videos category. So uh, yeah, they, are, they will be protected once we protect the whole category. Uh, now I want to go to duplicate post, edit, Let's just call this one Instagram. Can't go without mentioning Instagram these days, right? Instagram, marketing essentials, document, replace image, Instagram, boom, update. And one more to go is obviously one of the biggest ones is going to be, can you guys mention? I'm sorry, can you guys guess it? It's going to be Facebook obviously Facebook boom Facebook marketing essentials document replace the image set a featured image boom by the way I created these images using a tool called canva canva.com uh, you can just check it out it's a pretty good tool to quickly create some graphics maybe not very advanced ones but just to quickly come up with something. Yeah, you can use Canva. So, yeah, and by the way, uh, I noticed that we need to 
we need to change the permalink sorry so we're going to say this one is going to be facebook marketing essentials as you can see it added all these copy at the end so let me just quickly go uh, to this I believe I can do it this way. Give me a second, quick edit. Just going to call this one uh, Instagram Marketing Essentials so that we don't have these weird URLs in place. This one's going to be LinkedIn, LinkedIn update, Snapchat. Sorry, Snapchat Marketing Essentials. Uh, update Twitter marketing essentials right boom update so now what I want to do is want to create a page for the for aggregating all these posts so we're going to go to pages add new we're going to call it dashboard dashboard and just click on publish publish and we're going to click on edit with elementor uh, change the layout to be elementor full width and i'm going to use the template that i created earlier uh it's this one membership sign up template yeah or maybe even you know what we're going to use this one single post template or no let's let's use sorry let's use all right let's use single post template it doesn't really matter because these templates are similar so i'm going to delete this one this one here we're going to just change this one to say uh page title just yeah just put it in here click on copy and now if i right click on it i can just say paste style and delete this one now let me quickly go to settings yeah now as you can see it's working so um, I believe it's in here all right anyway uh, doesn't matter it says dashboard now we want to show the list of posts so the way we do it I believe Elementor has a widget called uh, what is it called a second i'm just going to all right so we, we're going to need to add another add-on add -on for this because elementor's default uh, widget is not going to be customizable enough for us so but first of all i'm going to just copy and paste in a heading in here and it's going to say the digital marketing videos going to make it centered change the color to be black should be good to go uh, I'm also going to move this one minus 100 pixels to the top boom yeah looks good to me uh, change the section size to be I just remove it let it be full width I mean not full width but it's going to be like 100 and like 1300 pixels or something like that so let me just now go to back to my wp admin and i'm going to go to plugins add new i'm going to search for essential add-ons for elementor this is the plugin that we're going to be using let me just install it activate it Boom. And now let me go back to pages, all pages, dashboard, edit with Elementor. Now I'm going to search for a uh, widget called Post Grid. EA Post Grid, yeah, this is the one that I'm looking for. Let me just copy and paste it in here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to only show posts that are from the product videos category. And that's why I'm using this uh, widget, not the default one, because I, I don't believe it allows you to filter, like to show only posts from only one category. And so we're going to use, say, 12 posts per page. Uh, 
let's go to layout settings. Uh, I'm going to have three columns here. We're going to have three and three. Let's just, um, let's just, what else? I want to hide the read more button. I want to hide the meta description. I want to, what else I want to do? This one looks okay to me. Let me just quickly look at my other monitor so I can, uh, yeah, so I can just see what's going on here. So space between items, I'm going to say zero, 20, 40, and 20, like this. Border radius is going to be zero. Now color and typography, I want to center my excerpt and my title. And I believe that's it. One more thing I believe I forgot to do is to, wait a second. Not show, show load more button. Yeah, so, and if I go back to style, load more button style, I'm going to change it to this color and the hover, I want it to be like this. Yeah, so it's going to load more videos. I mean, more posts, if there are more, po more posts uh, down below. But overall, it's looking good to me. Um, Instagram marketing essentials. Yeah, let's just change the, uh, the size of this uh, this title. Make it a little bit small, smaller. If I go to typography, maybe 20 pixels. No. Let's maybe make it 18 and the excerpt we can make it 16 pixels maybe 15 it should be fine okay and if I go to update this should be good to go I believe uh, one more thing I want to add here is I'm going to drag and drop this heading again with this heading widget sorry didn't add it I'm going to change it to div center it go to style text color is going to be white uh, typography Sorry, I'm going to remove the text shadow typography. The weight is going to be 400. And I want to, I wanted to say, um, welcome to, which is basically a welcome message. Welcome to the members dashboard. So I want to greet them here. And I also want to remove this, like to make this padding smaller. Uh, so it's going to be maybe 100 pixels, 120. Yeah, that's fine. And click on update. And let's just preview this page. So yeah, uh, one thing that this widget has that I don't think it's working great is that it has this